So those of you who saw his first shave down and said, you shouldn't even muzzle him. Yeah, right. I'm so sorry, man. I am so sorry that you, I believe that you are wrong. So this is the dog up stand. It's here. It's, it's assisting, but it doesn't even need to be touching. I'm just going to make sure I go through his coat because I, I don't want to say he was matted. I can't even remember that far back. We did a summer cut last time. He is not going to be okay with blow drying if I, I don't believe he will be. And I want to say we didn't even blow dry him last time. We just let him air dry, which that's the call you're going to make in your business. Okay. If that's what you want to do. I prefer not to piss him off any more than I have to. It's already a tough situation for the animal. Keep it simple. Man, that was even harder to do. I was like, you're taking too long to get him up there. <laughs> you have got to be the leader and the drill sergeant when you're dealing with an aggressive animal. There's no relaxed and if, if there's no relaxation about it at all. What David's laughing. <laughs> Agreed or what are you doing, David? What do you think? Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. You're agreeing with which part? All of it. <laughs> so you give me a love tap. Love you. I did see the dog. He kind of looked like he was going to bite. Yeah, he looked like he was going to bite the owners, man. And those his people, man. That's his peeps. I'm sorry, buddy. Huh? I'm sorry. I don't know what happened with that. But I'm, I'm going to make some serious notes on your card this time. We won't let that happen again, okay? Can I see this paw? I'm going to do your pad. Again, we're doing my favorite, the 40 blade on the pads only. That's what I want you to use it up for. Can I see this one? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Good boy. Let me see this one. This one. Can I have it? Let me see. You gotta let him kind of give it to you. There you go. Thank you. Come on, Clipper. Got something stuck in there. Let me see, sweetie. Hot, man. He's really hot because he just went on out outdoor walk and it's like, how, how hot is it right now? 95 degrees? And it's like in the morning still? I'm going to do a sanitary while he's here. I like to do a nice, tight, short, 10 tummy and sanitary so that when they're laying in their tile or wood, on the floor they can cool down here in Texas that's really helpful if the groomer doesn't do it just ask them to it's just a simple tent down the tummy here I'm gonna do a sanitary here very good some of y'all keep asking me about you know it's different dog breed but it's the same concept just to kind of hiney, tidy up this hiney back here, use your two guard, which is blue on my end, but it could be different colors, and use a one guard. I'm going to use a one guard, which is half inch, and we're going to come down and just kind of clean up the sanitary a little bit so this doesn't get too matted as they lay down and sit down a lot. Just nice and rounded here. That's all you got to do, just round that out. This is not a groom. This is a bath package, so I'm just doing a couple little favors while he's here. 
Okay. Oh, he's in Arkansas. Okay. Okay. You can give him a flyer. Okay. He's not aggressive at all with people. Here's a flyer. Okay, let's see him. I might, you know, if you've got a dude for a booster, I might wait and go ahead and end this one. Okay, yeah. yeah that's and uh, that way I'll have a cruise for Texas. Here's the chip that you can go through here. Huh? It's a low cost. It's going to be 25 bucks for all three of those vaccinations I require. Just let them know I sent you. Where is that? Right. Which one is it? Texas Paw Care? Yeah, Texas Paw It's up by a Hacienda up the road. Yeah, it's up the road here. It's not very far. Okay, let me just take a picture and send it here. Yeah, as soon as you get it done, just text me a picture so I can just get you scheduled fast. Oh, okay. I got I'm just plan to be one. plan to schedule at least a yeah. week out though. Yeah. And you're in here and you know. He's a great dog, but I on the other side. Okay, so let's come out off this. Let's go around where I'm going here. By the way, I'm trimming the feet and stuff. Okay. This arm you guys is attached to the table. I've had a lot of requests to buy the arm. You have to buy this table. And I think that they don't make this brand anymore. Hi baby. Hi. If he's a biter, keep your face away from. Just stay back, man. Watch your face. What am I doing here? Sorry, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Guys and girls. Like I said, I'm using some shears that, these are not new or any, I have hardly ever use them, but all my scissors need to be sharpened, man. Okay, what I'm gonna do right here, I'm just gonna, again, this is not a haircut, I'm just doing a couple things that I think will help out, okay? So set, I'm doing a seven down on those back legs right there. Let me see. Uh, okay, he's got some, interestingly enough, he has got some weird new claws here. And those you can actually shave off really easy. So be careful, man. You never know what you got. Unless you just really handle, here we go. Handle, okay, let me see. I know that's a weird one. That probably feels interesting, doesn't it? That one, it looks like it's, I'm not even gonna trim that one. I don't know what's going on with that one, but it's not really a nail there. There's a stub. Okay, okay, don't get upset with me. Don't get upset with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. Norbert. Norbert's good boy. Be good, please. Doing great. Doing great. Okay, stay, steady as you are. Let me see here. Norbert. Good, 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 nice, very nice, very nice, good buoy. Got this one's cracked at the top, just take that off. Got some allergy issues in there, it's kind of red. You want to make sure you position yourself back here. You can come back through the back legs, okay? Through the back legs, just to watch how much room he's got here to whip back and bite your face. Keep all that in mind. I cannot reiterate it, okay? This is how you stay safe. Okay, let me see. Can I see this one? Watching his body language. Let me see. Let me see. Good. Let me see. You got to give it all to me. Give me the whole foot here. Let me get. Let me see. Easy. Easy. Easy, very good. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy there, buddy. Good boy. 
Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Thanks for not jolting. Good boy. Very good. All right, we'll go to this other side. So I don't know if this is a good example, but on the small dogs like Maggie Davis, you can't hear the breathing so much, but let me tell you, they will hold their breath, okay? I paused a few minutes ago so you could kind of hear that. I didn't say anything, I just let it happen. Have you notice the holding breath? So there's things that I know y'all don't know. <laughs> I see he's holding his breath. So if he's a, even a little, littler dog, man, they can hold their breath and they start looking like all kinds of stuff. So just know that that can happen, be aware. And, you, and that's a body language that you should be watching. Hold the breath, get ready, it might attack. Okay. Those eyeballs are really looking at me. I'm gonna bring him down lower while I, so I can look down into his ears instead of looking up into his ears. Okay, I know. Let me see, can I get in here? Don't get mad. Start at the tip of here if you're kind of nervous about it, you know, you, going straight in and he's like, Rawr. do you, do you know, I keep telling you guys the same things. He can bite through the muzzle. Okay. That's just kind of giving me a little window to fly myself backwards. Little dirty, nothing to have worry about. I know you're looking at me. You're okay, man. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. If a dog, if you come in at a dog and the ears are like really bad, infected, inflamed, this is, that's where you might get a couple lunges or attempt to biting, okay? A little dirty, not too bad. And at this point, honestly, I want to carry him because he doesn't like getting up on stuff. So I kind of want to carry him to the bath. So let's just see if I can do that. Move the dog up soon. Can I help you? I'm not sure. Let me see if I can just get it. So if you can carry the dog, great. This is a great leg workout for you, but especially if they're aggressive, you just never know. Okay, but it's better if you can just carry him because then you don't have to fight him getting in the tub. Oh yeah, easy stuff. Just real nice, tight hold, calm. I really want to take off the muzzle. We'll see how it goes. I have some stairs there. Like I said, if, it, if he's struggling to get on the table, then he might just struggle. I wish I could take off the muzzle. We're gonna, this is only our second groom, so I'm just gonna, easy buddy, easy buddy, you're okay. Norbert, you're okay. Get your, and I don't have a lot of stuff online yet, but need an apron, let me know. We don't wanna get all wet and water bathing. I'm gonna let that kind of warm up. I'm going to take off his choker, or if he's really rambunctious, I would personally use the choker to help you. Okay? I'll put the choker back on after. There you go. What is that? What's that towel doing in there? What's that towel doing in your way, man? Down on the ears, okay? You, don't want, you want to try not to get water in the ears. I just love golden retrievers, man, and to, and to know that there's been some trauma, it just hurts my heart, man. The golden retrievers are such kind dogs, usually. Little by little, and I'm just shampooing and rinsing all, kind of rubbing all the same time. That's how I like to do larger pets. Sorry, kind of cut off. I wish it would let me know. So we've already done shampoo all the way through this side. I did conditioner. I'm gonna brush that conditioner with water through. Don't push too hard. Thank you. 
I'm not pushing too hard. You don't want to brush burn anything. You just want to get that conditioner through. It's just going straight through. It's so awesome. So I did his head on this side over there. I'm going to do the head on this side over there, but I'm going to do the tail over there. Come on, Norbert, turn around. Good boy. Good boy, lock him in there. Good boy. I'm actually going to move him back. Okay, don't get mad. I'm going to move you back. Back. Okay, wait. Sit. 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 Good boy. That'll get him in that middle block. Down on the ear. He's leaning back. He's so comfortable. I'm going to turn you around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. A little jolt. There you go. A little pull there so he knows what you want to do. Use the same words. So each time they come in, they hear the same words over years and they get it. Oh, that's what it is. It's turn around. I always turn around when she says turn around, you know. Use every inch of your towel. Don't just use half of it and waste it. Use every inch of the towel. You should be able to really get most of the water off with one towel. Every corner of the towel. I'm very business oriented, so if you're not a business owner, you don't understand how much it costs to do all kinds of things for the business. So every penny goes a long way, including half the towel being dry when you get done. So use every bit of your towel. All the little edges and everything. I 
he's so calm, you know. Just imagine, um, I mean, I could blow dry him probably attempt to it, but I like, he's so, he's so comfortable. So I'm going to not push the blow dryer. This is our second groom, and we might introduce it later, but it's not a big deal. If your clients and pets that are aggressive and hard, difficult dogs, I mean, we have come some, uh, you know, we've made some strides. So if you are grooming a dog and you want to save some high anxiety, just skip the blow drying up to uh, introduce air dry to your client and just say, I prefer this over pressing the issue to blow dry him all the way, which takes another 20, 20 minutes and it's very loud and noxious and makes his heart beat so much faster, okay? I'm gonna put this back on, okay? We're getting ready to go home at this point. I am gonna see Tay about taking him back out here. Remember, put your face mask on, okay? Wear a face mask. Wear a groomer mask. Protect your health. It's very important. I'm, if you don't realize it, I'm telling you. Very good. Got me a little wet on my, my shirt. So I'm just going to brush him out. Still going to come out really great. I'm going to test my limit here just a little bit, okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. You're okay. Don't get mad, okay? Okay, don't get mad, okay? Let me see, can I get this a little tighter? Not, not right now, I can't. Okay. I don't know that I want to trust you yet. So I'm going to unclick that. Okay. I don't have to do much. I'm just going to let that hang there. It may just come right off, which is fine. I'm going to do my leave-in conditioner. It's going to dry really silky. And I love my ocean bottle. I just love this print. And you guys don't even know how much I love that print. We got our comb. And I, I already know I brushed this really good. You know, we didn't do any blow drying, so we didn't kind of make it go all over the place. But I'm going to just challenge him to bear with me with the muzzle loose, okay? We already did our major brushing. I don't need to be pushing hard because I did brush, bathe and brush with conditioner and now I'm brushing again. You don't need to push so hard, okay? I believe absolutely one day I might be able to not use a muzzle, so I'm trying to test, test that a little bit. But you know, like Molly who recently passed away, I could not trust her. Uh, I would never know when she was about to react, and I, I can't be faster than a dog in some instances, so it's best just to be safe, to avoid getting bit. That's very important. You need to get that through your head. If you get bit, you are going to need to get a shot. And when you get that shot, you may expose your business to just having you, the, the, you know, aggressive dogs are what they are. But you know, I honestly feel sorry for the situation. I don't know where it came from, who made it happen on each pet, but I wouldn't want to have to put those dogs down. I would wish that they had somewhere to go, but... It will happen if you don't, if you get bit, it might happen, and then you have to you live with that. Like, I put myself in that danger, and I didn't do anything. I wasn't, you know, aware. So you're going to have to live with that at the end of the day. If you want to work with aggressive dogs and you get bit and you have to go get a shot, well, anything can happen at that point, okay? You need to know. You need to be aware. Rainforest Cologne, yeah, just a couple spurts. I'm gonna get this on here now. Got a leash and collar here for you. Yeah, don't get mad. Be ready. Any kind of movement could.
spark an interest. Okay, do that. I know, are you happy now? So someone mentioned the other day, like, just because the tail is wagging doesn't mean it's happiness, not always. Hey, are you happy, ready to go? I'm gonna put this on your choker here, okay? All right, and let me just take all this out first before I get all happy dabby here. You never know. I'm just, I am testing some limits here. Yeah, I'm gonna lower you down, okay? I'm gonna take this, can we take that off? Yeah, good boy, yes, that's a good boy. Yes, it is, that's a good boy. Can I come here? Can you come here and talk to me a minute? Can you come here and talk to me? Yeah, hi. Come here, can you talk to me? Norbert, hi. I don't trust you yet, no I don't. Hi Norbert, yes, I don't trust you yet. We're working on it, aren't we? Are we working on it? Norbert, Norbert, come here. Come here, come here, come on, come on, come on. Can you guys see him? You probably can't even see him, what he's doing. Let's go out here. I'm gonna check what time my next client is. If he can hang out or if I have to put him in a cage for a minute. They might be outside. Let's see if they're outside. You just never know. Are you gonna be happy? Are you gonna be happy? Come here, don't get mad at me. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Can I touch you here? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Can I touch you without you getting mad? Huh? Yeah. Good boy. Come here. You want to lay down? Come here. Do you want to lay down? Norbert. Come here. Do you want to lay down? Oh, you want me to touch you. Don't get mad at me, man. Well, Molly almost bit me one time. She was so happy. And then, are you looking at David? Hmm? Are you looking at David? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. He has unusual energy, man. It's kind of like off oh, interesting energy. Okay, so I'm gonna call mom and dad and let them know we're done. Whew, did good, huh? Okay, did so really Norbert, good. here's a repeat on that. He was the one that went to a dog trainer out here. If you wanna know who it is here in Texas, let me know, I'll tell you, but I'm not gonna do a shout out for it. But I'm gonna work with him for just a few minutes. This is what I would do if he were my dog and we wanted to overcome some things that happened. So he, I got him on the, on the, I got him on the table. So if I had more time with an animal, look at him. What are you doing? Are you getting ready for me? So I got, I got up on the table with him. So if I had more time to work with animals that have ailments that are aggressive, I would, we could get so far. Okay. So I had stepped up on the table and got him to do. I did. I tried to pull. He was like, Err. so I said, okay, I'll stop pulling. Come, come. Hop, hop, hop. You want to go around? Come here. No, not in there. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, sit. so sit. I'm going to shut this door, okay? No, sit. You don't need to go in there. I don't know why you're trying to go in there. Come on. Come on. Come on, watch your face. Come on. Come on, Norbert. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm going to let her check. You check them out, babe. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. Wait, come here. On this side. Come on, you did so good. Come here. Come over here. Come on, jump on there. Come on. Because I know. 
that's not going to work. Hey, but we got we got halfway up there, right? Do you want to come here this way or you want to get down this way? You want to get down this way? You did so good. Come here. Such a good boy. You did so good. I know you got this look on your face. I know. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Okay, Mom's out here. You ready? Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, God. You see him? He's half on the table. So. Oh, well, we all clean. Yeah, you, you did, did so that good, man. Yeah. You did yeah. so good. Sorry about that. Too. Too. I was like, oh, my like, bad, man. I was like, I thought oh, my bad. something new. Okay. Yes. <laughs> something new. I do so oh, I so many like that. I don't even talk. I can't even remember. And I should take better notes. So I did. No because I don't. I was like, were you here last night? <laughs> I can't like, remember. Because the next one will be the same way. You know? Right. Uh, because this is what I do. Right. But yeah, my apologies on that. Okay. I should remember better. But I know. Sir, I know. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. Are you okay? You're good. You did good. Happy now? Oh, he did so great though. Good. Okay. We had. We definitely had some uh, good stuff happening. Okay. Good stuff. Good. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be tired. Could you not include that? Footage. The front beginning? beginning? Yeah. Sure, Did you got it. Include that? Absolutely, absolutely. We'll take that off. No problem. Okay. All right, Norby, you can't have those toys. You're going to go home and take a nap. You had a busy day. The park and the back, huh? Yep. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so. There was a situation at the very beginning. I'm gonna, we're going to cut that part out of the video, but it just comes down to, you know, he's been through some stuff and his, his parents had rescued him and rescued him from a situ. They rescued him to begin with and then they put him through training and they used a trainer. I think they dropped off the pet and when they got the pet back, I mean, like, he was not the same animal. He was scared, timid, a biter, fearful biting, all these just change. I would never, no offense. I kind of wouldn't drop off my pet to a trainer and just say, I'll be back in 30 days, do whatever you want, get him where I need him to be. I don't know that I would do that. But at the same time, I understand why they exist because well, sometimes pet parents don't want to follow along on the training. And so it never happens. Like you go to a training classes and the dog can never get there because when you go home, it changes. I, I understand both situations that are out there for dog training, but I would say if you're going to do some training with your dog or hire someone, you you should pay for a one-on-one. -on -one. I personally don't think that you should. This is my opinion. There's a place to go when you want to do the group, but you really want the dog to be under control on its own rather than go introduce your pet to a group scenario. Group scenarios, I think, will probably be cheaper for each individual client so that the one teacher is teaching everybody at the same time. It's so much easier than it, than it would be teaching one person for one hour, right? If you look at business sense wise, but I would think that, you know, different dogs need that one hour by themselves with the trainer, with the owner. And that needs to be everything that needs to be, that is trained needs to be implemented at home on a daily. It can't just get relaxed at home. And that's where we fail when we hire a trainer, but we're going to delete. There's a little part of the, you know, where the pet parents were very afraid to assist him on the table. So we're going to delete that part out, but that it is real. You may own a pet and you are afraid of your pet. And I'm going to tell you, we're grown adults and it, it is real. Okay, at the end of the day, you just don't want anyone to get bit. So I, I just say thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching how to handle aggressive dogs. And we were gonna pick up the dog together. And I had to just, they, they I forgot that I didn't use them in the beginning, like in the very first groom. So I had all, you know, cause I do a lot of parent assist, right? So I was like, oh, come on back. And no, I didn't, no one said anything. So I was like, okay, help me do this. And I was like, oh, grab that, grab that. And everyone was af afraid. And I was like, oh, I've got, I can't do all the pull, you know, I can't do all that pulling and helping the dog up. And, and you guys are, it, it was a very like, what, 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 you know, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. There's a struggle that could happen and just be real with the client. And the client also, it was very aware um, they are also very aware of that the pet is aggressive and could bite anybody at that time. So you may or may not know what I'm talking about, but there are, there is a bit of seriousness when it comes to grooming an aggressive pet, which is why many groomers do send those types of pets to me. Thank you for the referrals. Thank you for sending them. These folks didn't find, didn't come from a groomer. They, they came from finding me on their own, but thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching. And I hope this helps many of you all out there with the t same type of pets and then to help groomers who are seeing that kind of clientele come into their salon. Do, don't do damage, mental damage on a dog. If you have that and you're not sure how to work with the animal, just say, I can't help you. 
uh, refer them somewhere else or just say I really don't know who can help you you know but I would call around and make sure you are with a groomer that can work with the animal instead of causing any worse issues so then finally when that dog goes somewhere else that can actually help it's not so much harder okay so I challenge you on that and I uh, thank you so much for watching I appreciate you thanks for your orders all right we'll talk to you soon